What's going on, everybody? So, this is kind of not new, but it is new in the same uh, aspect, I could say. Is there's a new eBay scam going on, but it was going on before, and it's just recently really starting to develop into something else, because I've been seeing more and more posts onto this. So, what it is, is people are posting cases that they're supposedly getting on pre-order, and if anybody knows out there, pre-orders can change at any time, whether it's retail or hobby. And you never really know what you're going to get. So nowadays, with the company that I use, they tell you what you're allocated. You don't get to ask for it. So back in the day, I could say I want 10 cases of Bowman Chrome uh, baseball hobby. And now I might not get 10, but I'm asking for it. And I might only get three because of allocation. Well, these people were putting out 10 cases, and they were only able to fill three of them, and they were holding people's money for a long time. Some of them got refunded, some didn't. There's some long story behind it. Well, now somebody's found a loophole into the system, a few people, and I've been seeing this pop up a lot. Whether it's boxes or cases that you're pre-ordering, do not do it through eBay. Um, do it through, like, Dave and Adams, Blowout, whoever you use out there. because it's just getting bad, and I keep seeing stuff popping on this, and I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention. I'm going to show you guys the whole thing that's going on. Let me kind of pull this dude's name off of here. <clears throat> the guy that brought it up. All righty. So, this, I've seen this all, a different person posted on Twitter about this. I've seen a couple other posts in Facebook groups and stuff. But this here, they're calling a pre-order scam and question marks, is it? I think it is. Um, they purchased a 2020 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo Hobby for $519 as a pre-order. Now it was a box. This wasn't the case. And they pre-ordered it August 29, 2020, which is about right when pre-orders come out, you know, asking for it until they do allocations and so on. It said it would uh, ship when it arrived, 1210. I believe it got delayed Bowman Draft last year. So, of course, the seller said they had received the item adjusted it to show in 1230. Keep in mind, they paid into August for this. If I'll, Let me keep going with the story, and I'll go into this more. So what the seller ended up doing was marking it shipped. No tracking number was confirmed or nothing like that. Once the seller marks it's shipped and there's no tracking, you only have a certain amount of time to actually say, I didn't get this product. By them marking it shipped, you're agreeing to it. And, you know, this goes on. If you figure you got all of September, October, November, that's three months there. So over 90 days passes. And eBay will not process a money-back guarantee because they showed it being shipped the day the order was placed, even though it was a pre-order. They went through, um, there was people have gone through their uh, credit card onto this, and their credit cards are telling them, guess what, it's been over 90 days. You cannot, you know, rebut this. These people are getting paid, and they're not getting any product at all. So be careful on pre-ordering stuff, unless it's a legitimate company out there. And what I'm going at is more like Blowout, Dave and Adams, whoever, that's doing the pre-orders. Those guys are not going to put their reputation on the line. They're going to refund you. And if they can't refund you because it's been past the 90-day mark, they're just going to either ask you if you want credit, you want you know a check cut to you, whatever it may be. Because you got to remember... A company only has so many days to be able to process a refund back to you. Some are 30 days, some are 90 days. And depending on how you paid for it. So more than likely, if it goes past it, they have to, you know, cut you a check or however you want it, you know. Some people might just do PayPal. I have no idea. I've usually just taken credit. But with eBay, they're showing, hey, the product shipped on august uh 29th and now it's january why nothing going on on to it you know you had over 90 days now all of a sudden you're saying you didn't receive the product when it's shown it was shipped and all this other stuff 
be very careful of that trick that's going on right now because as soon as they mark it shipped, if you don't see it uh, come in two, three weeks later, I would say something on to be like, hey, man, you said it was shipped. You can't mark it shipped because you don't have the product at hand. Again, I don't agree with eBay allowing to do pre-orders off of uh, stuff like that there either. You know, if you're going to do pre-orders, make sure that, you know, you're getting the product in and so on. It's just... I'm just I'm really upset when I see stuff like this all the time because I never ever liked to pre sell stuff because I was caught a couple times. Product was going to release on Wednesday. On Friday, I got cut before it. And so at that time, frame, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wait until the product ships. So when I know it ships out on Monday and it'll be here Wednesday on release, that's when I'll do my stuff because I know I'm going to get it. And then I started waiting until the release date because <clears throat> sometimes, you know, UPS, FedEx and stuff is late. Or, heaven forbid, it gets lost or damaged in route too. But this is something I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. I don't know how many people um, are doing this, you know, pre-ordering off of eBay and stuff because the prices seem too good to be true compared to what you could pre-order off of Blowout and David Adams. A lot of these guys that are doing this might have accounts, GTS, Peach, Southern, whoever it may be. And if they're being asked what they want, that doesn't mean they're going to get it. The way a lot of these allocations now with Panini and Tops are running is that they're going to tell you what you're authorized. I mean, that's just the way it's been going. There's very few product I get to ask, do I want any of it? And then I still got to wait. Like Star Wars, I don't know if my allocation is still what I ordered, or Garbage Pal Kids, or Pokemons. Well, actually, Pokemon, they actually allocate it out now. I, sh I shouldn't use them. But this is something that's going on. <clears throat> I don't agree with it at all. I never have. But when people are starting to mark that the item is shipped, that's starting to counter right there on your refund process, whether it's eBay or you're going to file with your card, your card as soon as you transact onto it. So just be careful out there. Know the limits onto this stuff and how far you could go to end up getting it. Because this person here has been basically playing with these people now for a while. Oh, yeah, I'll get you. And they got like something crazy. They haven't released a name yet. But it's something like 13,000. Oh, there it is. 100% feedback, 13,000 rating. But you can't receive, you can't even leave feedback that's too old on to it because they never received it. So you guys see what I'm saying on to it. Be careful out there. This was going on a while ago, but a majority of the stuff was refunded to people. And this was probably two years ago, but now people are just posting this stuff up there and. You know, people are, hey, man, I'm getting a box for this amount. It's coming out at, like, 580 on Blowout. That's a deal. You know, sometimes those deals are too good to be true. If you're really looking for boxes and cases that are cheaper, if you go out and get your own federal EIN and your sales tax license, it might just be federal EIN. I'm not too sure. There's a place called DealerNet. Um, you register, you pay for it, and people who are legitimate sellers go on there and sell their boxes and cases. And yeah, you can get them after release at a good price. So, just another option out there for everybody. I mean, if you want to pay the fees to do all that stuff and that, and you want to go that route, it's a legit service. It's certified real dealers who are authorized to sell on there. And maybe, I think it might just be sellers have to pay the fee. I forget offhand. But... It's a way that they can move their product quickly, especially if they don't want to break, say, like, Legacy Football, Don Russ Basketball, so the products that are heavy. They'll flip their cases and boxes onto it, where, say, blowouts like 5,000 a case, they might put it up at 3,500, 3,800, just so they can move it and not have to worry about shipping and sorting. Just another option out there for everybody. It's called DealerNet. Um... But other than that, everybody, I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. It's going on again. It's getting real hefty with people uh, doing this, and they're not getting their money back. There's nothing they can do about it. It's been marked ship. It's past the time. 
Now all of a sudden it's going to be proof that, you know, how do I know I never received it? I don't know where the tracking is. That's been X amount of days ago, blah, 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 blah. You know, there's going to be all kinds of excuses on it. Just be careful where you're pre-ordering your product from, everybody. Uh, the best thing I could say out there right now. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Catch y'all later.